how to solve the tough equation, not like quadratic equation. According to Abel's impossibility theorem, there's no solution in radicals to general polynomial equations of degree five or higher. So no formula can be used, right? You can try integer zero theorem, but you will find no integer solutions exist. So we have figured out other method. The key idea to solve this equation is to figure out a suitable substitution so that the outcome equation becomes simpler. Let's go on. Let x equals a minus 2 over a. Then let's calculate x to the power 5. So x to the power 5 equals a minus 2 over a to the power 5. Using binomial expansion, so we get a to the power 5 plus 5 times a to the power 4 times negative 2 over a plus 10 a to the power 3 times negative 2 over a squared plus 10 a squared times negative 2 over a cubed plus 5 a times negative 2 over a to the power 4 binary negative 2 over a to the power 5 we can simplify that, so we get a to the power 5, the second term, minus 10 a cubed. The next term, plus 4 times 10, 40. a, the next term, negative 8 times 10, minus 80. A squared over A cubed, so we get over A. The next term, 16 times 5, 80. So plus 80 over A cubed. The final term, minus 32 over A to the power 5. Now let's calculate 10 times X cubed. So we get 10 times a minus 2 over a cube using the whole cube formula. So we get 10 a cube minus 3 a squared 2 over a plus 3 a 2 over a squared minus 2 over a Q. So we get the first term as 10 a q. So 10 a q. The next term minus 60 a. The next term plus, yeah, 4 times v, 12 times 10, 100. And then a over a squared, so over a. The last term, minus 8 times 10, 80, over a cube. And then let's calculate 20x. So we get 20 times a minus 2 over a. So we get 20 a minus 40 over a. So the left side of the equation would be x to the power 5 plus 10 x cubed plus 20 x minus 4 equals, let's correct my terms. So first one, a to the power 5. Next, focus on a cubed. So negative 10 a cube minus 10 uh, plus a uh, 10 a cube cancelled. Next, focus on a. So 40 a minus 60 a. So we get neck 20 a plus 20 a.
cancelled. Negative 80 over A plus 120 over A. So we get 40 over A minus 40 over A cancel again. And look at 80 over A cube minus 80 over A cube cancel. The last term, minus 32 over 8 to the power of 5. But of course, we have negative 4, minus 4, right? So the given equation becomes 8 to the power of 5 minus 32 over 8 to the power of 5 minus 4 equals 0. So both sides times 8 to the power of 5. So we get... 8 to the power 5 and then square minus 4 8 to the power 5 and then minus 32 equals 0. If we view 8 to the power 5 as single variable, that actually is a quadratic equation. So we can factor it. So we get 8 to the power 5 minus 8 times 8 to the power 5 plus 4 equals 0. So we get either 8 to the power 5 equals 8 or 8 to the power 5 equals negative 4. Taking the fifth rule, so we get A equals the fifth rule of 8 or A equals the fifth rule of negative 4, which can be written as negative the fifth rule of four. Finally, we can get back to x because x equals a minus two over a. So I say x equals a, which is the fifth rule of a minus two over the fifth rule of a. Or x equals, we plug in the second value, negative the fifth rule of four and then minus two over a, so it would be plus two over the fifth rule of four. Oh, wait, wait, something wrong with this one. Why? If we let earth x equals the left side, would be x to the power five plus 10 x cubed plus 20x minus 4. Then we take the derivative, so we get what? So we get, wait, right? so we get 5 times x to the power 4 plus 30x squared and then plus 20 greater than 0. That means the function of x is strictly increasing. So f only have one zero in the set, or the corresponding equation should have only one solution. But we get two solutions. Could you tell me the problem? If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.